Hello and welcome to Nana's Crafty Home. My name is Tanya. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to complete the desert sand scarf that you can find as a free pattern on my website. You can just click on the link below to take you to that free pattern. Also, um, this pattern is made with just one cake. Uh, I'm using the Karen cakes that you can see here. And um, I'm using the entire cake uh, that is 7.1 ounces, 200 grams, and approximately 383 yards. You wouldn't have to use the Karen cakes uh, for this project. Uh, this scarf would look great in a variety of different yarn solids, self-striping, mandala, um, gauge is not important. Um, but that's how much yardage I use for my project to get it to the size of my scarf. The approximate finish size, if you follow my pattern and use the Karen Cakes, it ends up being approximately 77 inches long from tip to tip and 12 inches wide. So it's a good size scarf. Also, you're going to need a size H 5.0 millimeter crochet hook, which is the re recommended hook size for this yarn as well. And we're gonna go ahead and get started here. And we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And that is row one. Those skipped chains from my beginning foundation chain are going to count as my first stitch plus a chain one. So with that first stitch, a chain one, and a second double crochet here, I've got a total of two stitches for row one. I'm gonna turn my work. So for row two, we're gonna go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And as a note, that chain four is going to count as my first stitch plus a chain one here and throughout the rest of my pattern. So just remember that as you're working this scarf. You're going to go ahead and double crochet in that same stitch. So at the base of that chain four that you just did, in the top of that stitch from the previous row, I'm going to go ahead and work a double crochet and that is an increase since I'm working it in that same stitch in chain one. I'm going to skip that chain one space from the previous row and I'm going to work a double crochet in the top of that chain three from the previous row. So now for row two, I have a total of three stitches with a chain one in between. So two chain one spaces and three stitches. And as a note, um, when we're working these increase rounds, these increase rows, your stitch count will increase by one stitch. So we're going to turn our work for row three and we're gonna chain four again, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to skip that chain one space. I'm going to double crochet in the top of that next stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain one space and work a double crochet. Chain one and a double crochet in the top of that chain three from the previous row. So I'm working that increase. So you'll notice that I'm working the increases on the same side as my, um, on the same side of the scarf. So all of my increases are going to stay on the same side over here. So now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and to keep those increases on the same side, I'm going to work a double crochet in that same stitch and chain one, skip that chain one space, double crochet in the top of the next stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet in the top of that next stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space and double crochet in the top of that chain three. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, five stitches uh, with chain ones in between each of those stitches. So for row five, 
we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to skip that first chain one space, work a double crochet in the top of that next stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, double crochet in the top of the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, double crochet in the top of the next stitch, chain one, skip the next chain one space, and I'm going to work an increase of a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that uh, chain three space, chain three uh, from the previous row. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches with chain ones in between. So now really rows six through 35, we're just going to be repeating rows four and five. We're going to be going back and when I turn for row six, I will be keeping that increase on the same side. So I will be doing an increase at the beginning and then working down, coming back, and then the ne that next row, the increase will be at the end of that next row. So just follow that pattern, working that two row repeat, keeping your increases on the same side of your scarf. Your rows will increase by one uh, stitch count uh, for every one of these rows. So that will help you keep track of uh, your increases and that you are increasing appropriately for each row. Okay, so I have worked the scarf through row 35 and you can see this interesting uh, shape that's starting to take place here uh, by working all of those increases on the same side of the scarf. We're ready now to go ahead and start making those little peaks, those ragged edges that are at the top of the scarf. And uh, we're going to do that here with row 36. So for row 36, of course, we're going to turn our work just as we have been, and we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to double crochet in that same stitch because this would be where my increase should be. And I'm going to work this row exactly the same as I've been working the previous rows by chaining one and then working in each double crochet post from that previous row, chaining one, skipping the chain one space and working in that next stitch. So I'm going to do that all the way to the end of this row until I get to the fifth double crochet stitch from the end. So just work all the way down <clears throat> until you have five double crochet stitches unworked from your previous row. Okay, so when we've gotten to the end here, you can see that I have one, two, one, two, three, four, five double crochets unworked. I've worked this double crochet, chain one, and I'm going to work my final double crochet in that double crochet stitch that will leave four double crochet posts from the previous row unworked and I'm going to go ahead and turn and leave those unworked. Not going to chain one, I'm just going to turn. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat rows five, four, and five uh, again and basically that's just by chaining four skipping that next chain one space, double crochet in the next stitch, chaining one, double crocheting in that stitch, and I'm going to just repeat that and then work my increase at the end of this row with that double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that final um, stitch, which is the top of that chain three. So I get to the end and in the top of that chain three I work my increase, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now I'm going to be 
repeating row four by turning, chaining four, and again, my increase is on the same side. So double crochet in that same stitch, chain one, double crochet in each stitch with a chain one in between, all the way down to the end. So I'm working through the end with a double crochet in that final stitch, that chain three, turn my work and repeat row five by chaining four and double crocheting in each double crochet post from that previous row, chaining one in between. So when I get to the end of that row, I'm going to go ahead and work my increase at the end here, working my double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the top of that chain three. So I've worked that first section. Let's see what that looks like. So what we ended up doing, of course, is um, skipping these last four double crochets, leaving them unworked, and then working a section, just as we have before, of four rows. So when we get to the end of that fourth row, we're gonna go back and repeat this again to create another section of four. So when we get to row 40, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat row um, 36. And we're going to chain four we're going to work a double crochet in that same stitch and I'm going to work my double crochet chain one in every stitch until I get to the last five unworked double crochets from the previous row and work a double crochet in that fifth double crochet leaving four unworked just as we did before and then we'll be repeating that same section having four rows. So each section of four will repeat row 36 and then go back and repeat row five, four, and then five. And you'll keep doing that basically until you run out of yarn. Um, one note that I will make is that um, myself and my testers not all Karen cakes are equal in yardage from my experience, from my tester's experience. So you might find that you can't do quite as many rows as I did. Um, you may be able to do more. I finished my scarf after a section of four. So wherever that might be where you are at, uh, you can just finish off when you have a complete section of four if you don't have enough yarn to complete another section, if that makes sense. Uh, because you do want the ends of your scarf to, to be even. So here we are, we're getting close to the end. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Work a double crochet in that fifth one. Leaving those four unworked and turn our work. So just go ahead and uh, continue on repeating those sections of four, four rows until you run out of yarn or the size desired is reached. Uh, for mine, uh, I was able to get a total <clears throat> of 107 rows, which again ended up being uh, about 77 inches, so a really good size scarf. Uh, but again, just go to your size. If you're using a different yarn, uh, just, just go to the size that you want for your scarf 
and uh, that's all there is to it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can follow me on social media. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Remember to hashtag or tag uh, Nana's Crafty Home on social media if you make any of my projects and share them. I love to see all your variations of my patterns and see your beautiful work, so uh, be sure to do that. As always, uh, you can reach out to me uh, on any of my social media platforms. I'm happy to help if you have any questions about any of my patterns. And as always, I hope that you have a great day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.